Speaking of uh, candidates, um, here is Allison Camrata interviewing the um, this is the this is the candidate who is looks like will be. Who will have the Republican nomination for Congress? Uh, where is it? Where, where will he be running? Where in Illinois, right? In the third district. Do you know how many people he ran against? Now, they haven't had the election yet, right? The primary yet? But he's uh, he's polling. He's polling well right now. Uh, and it turns out, well, he, he, he's not, he hasn't been affiliated with the Nazis in a formal sense in probably over a decade. That's the best we can say about this guy. A former leader of the American Nazi Party is running for Congress in Illinois. As the only Republican on the ticket, it looks like he is about to win the primary next oh, month. There you go. His name is Arthur Jones. He has never disavowed his Nazi views. Disavowed. Here is what Jones said at a rally in Kentucky last April. And we warn, warn all of you They're that nice. They're the good language people you're about sides. to hear in this segment is offensive. The white majority are fed up with all of these lying, cheating, thieving, warmongering, Child molesting, political pimps and whores of this corrupt and decadent two party, Jew party, queer party system. Arthur Jones. I right, pause it for one second. Republican. I just wanted to. Um, the two party, Jew party, queer system is uh, one of the things he's railing against. But, you know, this is really important to. Um, and we're going to have some uh, some interviews, uh, you know, over the uh, over the break in about a week or so. They're going to be talking about the taxonomy of of, of fascists and through the conservative movement. And um, uh, when you listen to Donald Trump, you're hearing a white nationalist. OK. And uh, on some level, not. Not like this guy, but you can hear the echoes, right? We've got it. We, we've got uh, a, a rotting establishment. They're rigging the system. In this case, it's a the two party system, Jew party system, queer system is part of the problem. New segment on my show. But also it is, you know, there is we need to protect our people. And that is the sort of the construct some of the adjectives change a little bit depending on who your audience is. In this case, he has a national socialist uh, uh, banner behind him with uh, multiple neo-Nazi uh, emblems. So he can be a little bit more explicit. But uh, continue. Arthur Jones, that Republican candidate for Illinois' 3rd District, joins us now. Mr. Jones, it is shocking to hear how vocally and unapologetically racist you are. Are you a Nazi? Well, for the past uh, 15, 20 years, I have not had anything to do with any uh, national socialist organization on a formal basis. But do you Posit call yourself a I Nazi? Did have As a, in a formal basis. He hasn't had, he, I haven't been a formally, uh, I mean, this is the whole point, right? When people uh, say, like, how can you put People in the alt light, alt right, fascist right on the same continuum because they are on the same continuum and they have a uh, an explicit agenda of being of an understanding that they need to distance themselves to expand their reach. So this guy, I haven't had any formal involvement with these people for 15 years. He's not doing a very good job of distancing no, himself. No, this guy's not good. This guy's not a very bright guy. Wait, but was you that can imagine a, from 15 years a ago? bright a, a bright guy. Well, no, he just spoke there. He no. had no he had oh, no official involvement. You you know, you speak Look, don't don't try and uh, squelch free speech or the exchange of ideas. He was just going there and speaking. Exactly. Well, now I also involved. understand because Matt was explaining to me once that he has no official involvement with the majority report. Right. And I never understood that before. <laughs> Right. On a formal basis. But do you call yourself a Nazi? I did have a. I, I don't call myself a Nazi. I call myself an American patriot and statesman. 
Okay, well, let me give Nazi. our viewers some Statesman. details about this just so they can decide for themselves. You've been part of anti-Semitic groups since the 1970s. You go okay. to neo-Nazi rallies. We have pictures of you there. Well, you are, were part of the White People's Party. I'm you white. dress in Nazi garb and you celebrate Hitler's birthday. I like You're a Nazi. Well, I do not belong to any formal national socialist organization anymore, and I haven't belonged to one since about 1990, okay? Mm -hmm. The only organization that I belong to... Now, pause it. Now, uh, I know we have uh, some young people who listen to this program. Let me tell you, back in the 90s, everybody was a Nazi. Every, everybody. It was, it it was like up. Range Rovers. Different times. Snow. Su such a Ace of Base. Oh, wait, really, actually. Really different. <laughs> Really different time. I mean, if you wore any boots that were even like even even like halfway up uh, uh, up your uh, your 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 calf, people would look at you funny. You needed to go all the way up and and goose step that. The only organization that I belong to is my own organization, and that's the America First Committee. Uh -huh. mm. Okay, America yeah. First. Yeah, you can call it whatever you want, Mr. Jones, but your website is filled with the most vile, rancid rhetoric I think I've ever read. I disagree read. with you. It's not vile and rancid. It's the truth. It is? There's nothing on that website that's not true. Mr. I personally put that stuff on there. Yeah. I personally picked out the articles on there because they're true. I mean, I would like her to have, like said, like, you know, gone through the list of those articles a little bit more. Maybe she did uh, a little bit later. But, um... The, the point of this is here's a guy who's clearly, you know, there's no there's no this guy's no brain surgeon or I mean, I guess. Um, oh, well, you say that. <laughs> that's been sort of ruined for us, too. But uh, the point being that here's a guy who is basically following the game plan for what we're seeing with Nazis, and Nazi lighters trying to expand their reach. This guy is a little bit more ham-fisted, although he may end up being the the nominee for the Republican Party. Uh, Sam, I know you like to mock and not engage with people's ideas, but I found the website actually very captivating. <laughs> so maybe you should read it and stop denying your own power. And he's just, I don't know, he's kind of a cute old man. I wish I could just inject some <laughs> blood in him. This um, Make him a little bit less sad. Now, the filing Allison deadline... Comrade, oh, I hate her so much. <laughs> The deadline was December 4th. Uh, this uh, primary takes place uh, in March 20th. This is uh, Lipinski's, um, Lipinski's district where um, you have Marie Newman is running against him and has been uh, endorsed. The challenger to Lipinski has been endorsed by um, two other, at least two other Democratic congresspeople in the uh, Chicago area. So, uh, but this is, this is how it goes, folks. I mean, this is the structure of how these things work. All right. I mean, I've been critical in the past of the kind of entryism where more radical elements can take over a mainstream party, but uh, the right seems to be doing a pretty good job at it. So I, I, maybe I should take a second look. This is this is this has been an ongoing project for 15, 20 years. Uh, I mean, maybe more, but uh, certainly over the past 15 years, we've seen it sort of lurch in this direction. I mean, you know, if we were if we were as good at it as Republicans are, we would probably have communists running for Congress by now. Let's hope. Let's hope. 2020. 2020.